In this week's video we have a rather undistinguishable DAF LFM with various warning lights displayed on the dip. With our usual generic engine, AdBlue and power reduction lights on, we're going to need some decent diagnostic equipment such as JAL tests from Eclipse, but more on that later in the video. We can get started by getting the interface connected to the truck. You can't beat two OBD plugs to confuse people. And with the interface communicating, we have the hard job of pressing VIN identification and main system scan to identify all the diagnostic trouble codes in this vehicle. Fortunately, we don't have 35 plus ECUs to wait for this to scan on Euro 6 LF, so we can just deal with the active faults straight away in ECS DC6, which is our engine and AdBlue ECU. With various AdBlue pump related faults mixed in with our generic engine, SCR and DEF meter and valve operation failures, I'm going to carry out a functional test to this pump and attempt to prime the AdBlue system to try and confirm some of our faults. With the test started, you can immediately notice the pressure is at minus 0.7 bar and not climbing. Certainly not a figure that would indicate a functioning ad blue pump. Time to get more invasive. Back at our fault code, we can jump into this troubleshooting here and follow JAL tests workflow to the diagram for the ad blue dosing module. As you can see, we have the AdBlue module on the left and our temperature sensor here, which is conveniently wired into the AdBlue pump, represented here by pins 8, 9 and 10. You can easily identify the AdBlue pump as it has the letter M for motor as a symbol. Now we have the components identified and a good indication of what's going on wiring wise, we can get our hands dirty and do some poking about under the truck. Oh. With me under the truck, I can get the plug off the AdBlue module and identify our pin numbers on the plug. With pins 8 and 9 identified, I can use the diagnostic breakout leads to break into the wiring and test the circuits for the motor. The reason you should be doing this is it's because it's a closed circuit voltage and I won't bore you here about open and closed circuit voltages today. With my test light plugged in, I can see that I've got 24 volts and from this I can identify that yet again the AdBlue pump motor is made of chocolate. If you want this particular test light or breakout leads, I've two sets left in the shop online over at trucktechuk.com and I'll leave a link in the description if you want some. Unfortunately, rather than a new AdBlue pump motor going into this unit, DAF don't supply them, so we're replacing the whole dosing module. And as if by magic, the module has changed into a new one. The big question is, can we confirm the diagnosis was correct? And one way to check it is to recreate it. Back on gel test, we can go into the priming of the AdBlue dosing system and with the system requirements correct, the pressure climbs to about 9.5 bar before passing the test on gel test. With the system primed now, we can now purge the system. If you watch what happens on the purging of the AdBlue lines, the inverter valve opens and pulses the dosing valve to ensure all AdBlue is removed from the system.
I have another video which goes into this in greater detail that I'll leave at the end of this video. With the key off cycle complete, we can go back to our fault codes and clear out any old faults. This is what I call good housekeeping, and nothing confuses technicians more than 10 pages of faults from 2016. One final check with the key on cycle, and with the vehicle running and no warnings on the dip, I'd say we got something right today. All of this wouldn't have been possible without such a capable diagnostic machine, such as this one from Eclipse. And speaking of Eclipse, after the podcast talking shop that they invited me to go on the other day, my time with the DAF franchise is done. I'm no longer confined to one place, and with the work I'll be doing with Eclipse, Chuck Tech UK is now my only focus. What does this mean for you lot? Well, more content. Not just DAF, but anything I can apply my methodical diagnostic to really. With Jaltest supplied by Eclipse, my now go-to multi-franchise tool, I'm available to be booked for faults on DAF that you either can't fix, or just want an honest answer on what you actually need to change and replace without the dealer price tag. Likewise, if you're looking to purchase Jaltest as a diagnostic tool, then I have a landing page over at chucktechukcom forward slash Jaltest, where you can drop me some details. Purchasing through Chucktech UK means you don't just get your own gel test, but I'm also throwing in my knock sensor tool and a test light to say thank you for supporting me. Anyway, big things to come, and if you've made it to the end of this, you're awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>